Angel Shelter. Last week, the shelter's director, An director Angela Wallace, was arrested, and so far, charges include assault, cruelty to animals, and euthanasia. KDK's Brittany Thomas right now is live at Spence and White Veterinary Hospital. And Brittany, where are the animals right now? Neil, most of the animals are still at the Klein shelter, but a couple like this little guy are here recovering at this animal hospital. Now, they are in good health. They are just looking for a lovely home. 25 years of medicine, I've never seen anything like that before. This coming from the veterinarian who inspected Klein Animal Shelter. He says the facility was spotless. The animal's healthy, too healthy. The real shock came from the freezer. It was full to the top. Uh, it was really shocking, uh, these animals. They hadn't even begun to freeze. There were so many in there that it's probably going to take a week for those animals to freeze. Spence says it was obvious the animals had been put down within the last 24 hours. That in itself was kind of suspicious because I'm afraid that may have been all the sick or, or animals that were needing veterinary care. A former Klein employee recalls this kind of thing happening all the time. Some of these dogs were just scared. Put in a cage within five minutes. They started to euthanize them. They didn't try to see if any of them were sick or needed help or if any of them were nice. When it came to medical care, a lot of them would be in so much pain and the procedure was done so fast that a couple of them died. It was just. It's just horrid. This little guy came in with two broken front legs, so for a month he was just walking on his hind legs. Now he is adoptable. As for Henry, the dog with the broken back. He's in surgery right now. Uh, they did his C CT scan last night, and he was a good candidate. Uh, but, you know, they're looking at four or $5,000 to repair this dog. And Wallace? I heard that uh, Angela has been released on bond. They hope to get a bunch of the shelters together and hold a mass adoption event. You can find the whole story on KETKNBC.com. Reporting live in Tyler, Brittany Thomason, KETK News. Two robberies happened over this past weekend in Tyler, one at Posado's Cafe, another one at Blitz.